Fancy Nancy Diamond Painting. I'm doing a different kind of video today because someone asked for me to show off my completed diamond paintings. So I thought I'd share with them, share them with you today um, in the order that I did them. And I'm going to talk about each one a little bit. This is my very first diamond painting. You can see it's a partial and I'm very happy with partials. They're okay for me. They're, um, this one I thought was very pretty, very um, elegant. And when it was finished, I painted a stretched canvas and I mounted it with double-sided tape. And then my second diamond painting was another partial, it's this pretty house. And I did it the same way. I really, I have, um, not only is this hand therapy, the diamond painting for me, I use my left hand that I, you know, I had trouble, I still have trouble with. It's very weak, but Look how steady my hand is. It, it used to shake like that all the time. Now it's steady. Um, and I, I put that on diamond painting, just the repetition. So not only did I do the diamond painting with my left hand, um, I also painted the stretched canvas with my left hand. So it's, it's all therapy for me. Um, I'm not super happy with these because they were folded up and I did not put them under my mattress to flatten them when they were done. So if you look, you can see it's kind of wavy. So I, my plan is to gently take these off. It's, it's double sided tape, so it should lift off and then press them under my bed and remount them. That's my plans. I'm kind of waiting for some better, better weather because I like to paint outside on my deck because I'm a messy girl and I don't like paint all over. Then I did this partial. A lot of you will recognize this. Now this one was under my bed Press between cardboard after it was finished. So if you look at it, it I mean, it's nice. It's nice and flat. So I'm going to do this one the same way, but I'm going to glue it onto the canvas instead of using double-sided tape. And before I do that, I cut off all the excess border, which I wouldn't do if I was just framing it, but I hadn't decided yet. I love this one. The colors are beautiful. Um, so it's, they're all project, projects until they're done and framed and I'm happy with them. This was my first full drill. Um, again, when it was finished, I pressed it flat for a long time. I just love this, this image. I think it's beautiful. If you can see that real well, there's like a deer in the background. Um, so this one also I'm going to mount. This will be my first full drill that I mount. Uh, then I have these that I, I just pressed them flat. I just started and I, I think they're okay. This one is a partial, but if you look at it, it's almost completely covered with drills. Of course, everyone has to do a peacock. It's on the required diamond painting list. I really like this one. I'm probably going to do a regular frame on that. Um, not mounted. And uh, here's another partial I did with the roses. And I'm not really doing partials anymore unless it's, um, unless it's 
uh, just a filler between big projects. So there's my roses with the butterfly. That's going to get mounted on stretched canvas too. I really like that because I love the painting of it. Um, my next finished project is my teacup kitten. There she is. Now I have a bunch of these and at least the first three I'm going to frame Oh, I have to, um, you know, the baby powder trick. Because this is very sticky still on the edge. So I'm going to rub a little baby powder. I, I didn't have any in the house. So I my husband is actually bringing some home for me today. Because it's got a little hair and the sticky part. And I want to fix that. And then... I have two more that are exactly the same size of these teacup kittens. They're so cute. I did an unboxing video of them. And I have three more teacup kittens. Um, one is the Christmas one, and then the rest are in this series uh, that I'm going to do and decide how I want to frame them. Then I have two more projects that I'm working on. One is my... 60 by 80 full drill square of a custom from stitchdiamond.com and our Facebook group project which is a sunflower full drill square from Huacon. That one is I want to say 50 by 60 I think. I don't I don't remember. But those are the two that I'm working on now. And I have three more sitting on my desk that are like next in line. Um, and that's it. Um, I'm not a super fast diamond painter. Um, I, I have trouble with my arms. So everything I do is very slow and deliberate. But I love it. And I love when I have a finished product like this. It's just super sparkly and beautiful. So that's it. That's all my completed projects. Um, although, BB's barking. Although, honestly, I don't say they're completely completed until they're framed and done. And the two that I did frame and thought were done... Are not. I need to go um, fix them. So that's it. You have a great day. Thanks for asking about my completed projects. I'm always happy to share things with you guys. Take care. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.